Welcome to African Gardening. Today I'm going to be showing you how to differentiate between male pomegranate flowers and female pomegranate flowers. Pomegranates have uh, two types of flowers and uh, one of them is a uh, hermaphrodite which means it contains both male and female organs while uh, one of them, the other type of flower, is male. How do I differentiate between a male flower and a female flower? So look at this right now. Here I have a male flower. How do I know it's male? Uh, the top towards the petal, it's bigger than the bottom. It has stamens that produces lots of pollens, but it does not have any stigma. And this is another male flower. Is another male flower, you can see that. So let's look at the female. So this is a female flower. And you can see the difference in shape. I'm still gonna put them beside each other. Uh, you can see that the size at the bottom and the size at the top close to the petals, they are the same. So this is another female flower. So female flowers. And one thing you have to note, uh, when the plant is still young, uh, both the male and the female flowers will drop because uh, the plant is still a young plant, so if it doesn't have enough nutrients to support plenty of female flowers that turns to fruit, uh, those flowers will drop. Then flowers that have not been pollinated will drop too. Female flowers that have not been pollinated, they're gonna drop as well. This, the one on the right is a female flower. The one on the left is a male flower. Look at the shape again. You can see the difference in shape. Uh, this one, he has Look at the, the, the size, the size close to the petals and, and that close to the top, uh, they are the same. Meanwhile, this, you can see, see, it, it, it tapers at the top. The, the, the bottom near the petals is larger. Yeah, so you can see the difference here. Now, this is a close-up of uh, females and male pomegranate flowers. So, these two are from one variety, these two are from another variety. So, this is a female this is a male, this is a female, this is a male. How do you tell the difference? If you look at it, you will see that the females, they are larger, both at the top here and at the bottom, close to the petals. Meanwhile, the males are only larger at the bottom, close to the petals, and narrow at the top. So look at that here as well. This is larger, it's large and it's the same size here, both at the bottom and on top. But well, here, it's larger at the bottom, narrow at the top. So let me now tell you another method to know. So let's look at it. If we look, you can see for females, they are like a figure eight. You can see that. For males, like a cone. Again, a female, figure eight. Male, a cone. Let's go again. A female, figure eight. Male, a cone. So that's the shape. This is female, figure eight again. Male, a cone. So that is, I've, <laughs> I've shown you all the methods you can use uh, to determine which of your pomegranate flowers is a male and which is a female. So another way you can uh, look at it is in some varieties, the female organ, that is the stigma that actually uh, takes the pollens, uh, which is uh, what is used for the pollination process, it sticks out. In this particular variety, look at that. So that is the stigma. This guy is a stigma. It's already dry now because this flower fell down. So it's, it, 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 it normally, I mean, it's not this color, but you can see it here. So here, you don't have any stigma. You don't have any stigma here. So the female organ is here. Here, you just have pollens. Here, you have pollens and the stigma. You have male pollens and the female uh, part, which is the stigma. So that's what makes uh, pomegranate hermaphrodite. So this is the cutout of a male and female pomegranate flower so that you can see exactly what is happening inside so this is a male this is a female male female
female. So when you look inside, you can see the swollen bottom, that's where you have the ovaries. These are fertile ovaries and the female. And the male, you have infertile ovaries. I mean, look at them. They are all atrophied. I mean, it's like they're not there. Uh, so this is the stigma on the style. Look at that. So the stigma is at the top. And these are the stamen, which contains the pollens. So you see, the female has a stamen. The male has stamen with pollens as well. But the male has no ovaries. It has no ovaries. So uh, this is a different variety. This set is a different variety. So you can see that's the male. Look at the male. Uh, the ovaries are atrophied. That means they are infertile. They're not fully formed. But look at this. These are fully formed uh, 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 ovaries here. They're fully formed ovaries. And uh, if you look closely, they're swollen. So look at that. So they're fully formed ovaries. Uh, look at the stigma here. That's a stigma. Look at this. So it's there. That's why I say sometimes the stigma is inside in some varieties for the females. Here, it's very visible. It's, uh, it's outside. So these ovaries form fruits. So in the males, there are no fertile ovaries. In the female, you have fertile ovaries. They're larger. They are packed with ovals. In the male, maybe just one oval or two. But here, you have lots and lots of ovals that are fertile. So that's the difference. So to recap again, male flowers which have no ovals, they will drop off. They will drop off. Only the female flowers with ovals that are pollinated, those are the ones that will bear fruit. They will produce fruits. So it's the same for any kind of variety of, uh, of, of, of pomegranates. And like I said, uh, if the tree is being stressed, or there's not enough nutrients, some of the female flowers will drop so that the tree will have enough nutrients for just a certain number of uh, flowers, female flowers that will turn into fruits, which it will be able to take care of. The next thing to note is that the male flowers, after about a few days, let's say three, four, five days, they drop. Okay, they drop, then another set is still there coming up. But they don't stay. So the flowers that actually turn to fruits are female flowers. Female flowers on pomegranates, they have male and female organs. So they can either be pollinated by insects or true self-pollination. That means uh, the pollen from the, that particular flower uh, touches the stigma of the flower. The male flowers, they don't have any female organ. They don't have a stigma. They only have stamens that produce pollens. The female flower, it has uh, a stigma and as well has stamen that produces lots of pollens. 